Hi there, so I'm going to paint a mermaid, um, mermaid face paint, because I think mermaids are going to be big this year, not just because of the film, but because I think they're really taking off. Anyway, from the amount of mermaids that I've made over, yeah, painted over the few years. So I'll be using my lovely pop stencils from pop stencils and a variety of different colours and I'll pop whatever mates they are in the bottom in the comments so just bear with me and scales on okay in the background okay, I normally have a hairband but as you can see I don't today so I do this to fill space And I'll show you in a moment what I've done. Okay. So I do it round the edges where there will probably be space left. This is actually quite a fast paint on the job. And it's very handy. I've done lots of different colours. I usually what I usually do is I asked the child what colour mermaid they would like to be. And then we go with those colours. Try and incorporate whatever colours they come up with. Um, Caleb, can you face me a bit, please? Thank you. But I'm doing it in green today because that's what I like. And I thought it would be nicer for my son, my long-suffering son, to have green on. So that's that's the first bit that I do. Nice and fast, fill some space, go towards the camera. Okay. All right. And then I'll get whatever one stroke suits the colours I want to use the most and oh in this one today I am using a one of my bling I make bling as I'm sure you've seen um, so I'm using one of my mermaid bling and I'll put that in the middle there so what I generally tend to do is paint around the edge of where my bling goes. You can draw around your bling slightly with a bit of paint just to guide you, you know, where it's going to go. But I do recommend it is better to put the bling with the medical tape, that's what I use, on to the bare skin and not onto the paint. And then it will stay on the person longer. Okay. So then what I tend to do, if you can see, can you turn around slightly? And I'll try not to block the way all the time and I'll move it forward. Show. So then we do some sort of scallops like that. And I make them go into a kind of circle. I found <clears throat> on one job that I did, I did so many mermaids. And it was it was great fun, but um, and what I what I did whilst I was painting those mermaids, I started off not having painted very many of them, and by the end of the day, I had pretty much experimented with all sorts of different versions of of how I could do it. If you turn to the side there, Caleb, that's it. No, just sorry, there we are. Um, and you know to sort of find what worked best what went faster what was it was a, a great experience and opportunity it's a bit like having time to sort of practice at home but without being at home it was on the job and then the same here just check what i did there always got to check what you did because <laughs> otherwise it is yeah the amount of times that I have put the other colour the wrong way around. They don't notice, we do. So, do that. 
doesn't matter if you go over the scales you can always put more there if you feel like it the idea is that they're in the background behind so if i wasn't using my bling i would probably do that again here in the middle and then use a stencil with you know whatever pattern i i, I felt like at the time to put in the middle or shell or whatever there's there's lots of different options they're very handy um, i'm not very good at painting little people so they're perfect for me um, so in this case i would then put the bling on because then we can work around it and we're not going to accidentally paint over it which is nice because then they feel like they've um you know they're moving forward with their paint and it helps you out obviously getting the tape off the backing off of the bling this is where you could say i could be organized not always organized right so so i'll pop that in the middle there okay so if you just move towards the camera caleb slightly that's it and there you can see the bling on there okay right so then what i might do is i might still do some stenciling more stenciling sorry we're a bit squeezed here um a bit cozy but i thought this would work best for us today um so this stencil I do love with the um, girls, with the mermaid girls um, swimming up. So I might do this trusty warber, darker paint to go over. Um, okay, so. Actually, what I would do is probably is I'm going to try and use the purple just by having just put teal on there. I'm going to try and get a bit of purple on there to mix up the colours. So if you put your face to the side that way, okay. Okay, so turn your face to the side and show the camera. No, not that far. That's it. Okay, so that's a nice little swimming lady there. And I'll do the same on the other side because I do like a bit of symmetry. Okay. Well, as symmetrical as I can be, that is. There we go, and um, there we are. It's very effective doing like that. And then, despite being, you know, a mermaid, then we can start filling in with some nice flowers, some double dip flowers or triple dip, whatever you're capable of. Um, Took me a while to get used to doing triple dip, but doesn't always work. But you know, just can't keep on doing it. Um, and because mainly I've got green, I'll probably have purple as my tip with a little bit of black just on the end of tip of black. Okay, and then I would possibly do a little flower there. Okay, there. And there. Okay, move forward slightly. Show the camera. Okay, all right. And then I will do the man's side here, nice and fast again pretty and quick 
fillers. You could also you know, do some up here to maybe fill this space if you felt the need. Okay, which goes nicely with the bling. Move forward a bit, darling. That's it. Sorry. Do you have to bear with my son? He's very accommodating, but he is autistic. And we, we have a few battles sometimes. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, right. Saying that, the next bit I'm going to do, I might well do before I do the little flower bits, depending on whether I remember or not, but it doesn't matter either way. But I do find doing line work or, or little, you know, funny bits and that easier to do up before I put flower petals on. I haven't done that in this case, but okay. And then, so it's a mermaid. So I kind of feel that, you know, I love doing my swirls. I love doing all of that. But I always feel with mermaids. So if I, you know, they're in the sea and they're, you know, got all that weeds and seaweed and, you know, going doo -doo -doo like that. So I like doing these little wiggly things. I did worry that people would think, oh, you know, that's not a mermaid. It's not a pretty mermaid. That's a scary mermaid with scary weeds all around. But I've not had that anybody say that to me or, or anything. So I think everybody likes what I do. So that's it's always the main thing, isn't it? That the child that you've painted likes what you've done. Uh, and they're great and it's just a little bit different it distinguishes it from a normal mermaid I mean not a normal mermaid a normal princess or or any other just makes it look different I haven't put anything on his eyes I would normally I would normally just put a little bit of green paint on his eye on the eyes of the child if I've got time but um I haven't in this case because he doesn't really like it on his eyes. Um, and then, then I will do some. Okay, then. So we've got little, little white dots for the water. Bubbles, that's how I kind of look at it, like that. Um, with dots, you can sort of go anywhere. Um, put them where you want, really. Again, I use them as a good way of maybe doing a bit of fillering there. Like that. So, I mean, you can kind of stop at any point now, you know, depending on how much time. Do you want to move forward slightly, darling? Depending on how much time you've got. Or you can keep keep going. Um, for my own personal thing, I would like to put some dots. Because I do like a few dots. On the side. Excuse me. <laughs> On the sides where the little flowers are, I do kind of, you know, there we go, and maybe, you know, add a few like that. But ultimately, that would do as a fast design for mermaid and you know, you could put some extra little lines around the scallops, could add some more dots, you know, could do all sorts of things there. I was just thinking of using 
the glitter liner that's always handy well, obviously much to his horror by the looks of things but you know gotta have a bit of glitter haven't you boy or girl boys like glitter too even if they don't admit it sometimes and you could do that around the mermaid give her a little bit there just to highlight her like that you know put a bit there yeah i don't want to overdo it with the liner liner glitter just little touches to add to it and then my trusty spray glitter so close your eyes darling put your head slightly back so i'll say mm -hmm. to more and we have little sprinkles of glitter that will catch on the liner as well and any wet wet bits yeah, that's perfect you might not be able to see it very well there but um anyway so if you move forward caleb a little bit okay so bear with me a minute <laughs> a minute okay so do that and there okay i'm not forcing him really okay thank you like and subscribe bye